Hi, welcome to point 29. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks and some of the process I used to change out the manifold, driver side exhaust manifold on my 2007 Toyota Tundra 5.7 liter. After removing the catalytic converter pipe that is attached to the manifold, I removed the two nuts on the secondary air injection system port. So now with the video, I'm going to get underneath the truck here and show you how that catalytic converter pipe is kind of resting on that drive shaft. And then spin up here to look at the manifold connection. When I was taking these nuts off, I had a little trouble getting them to break loose. So I put a little heat on them for about 30 seconds. So we've got two nuts under there. Um, so far I've been able to crack them all with just a 3 8 ratchet. Um, just cracking them all, getting them a little loose, and then I'll go back and pull the nuts off. Um, I think that one closer to me there is the last one. So the hardest part at this point was just getting the catalytic converter detached and out of the way. Alright, so a lot of these nuts I've been able to get also through the wheel well here. It doesn't look like there's room, but really there is. See there's a couple there, one down below. One above, they're just really hard to see and a lot of them you have to get the socket on there and then, you know, pull it off blind. So I've got all the nuts off. There's one more stud with a nut on it. It's very hard to see, but it's just in front of the bend and that manifold pipe. We'll see if I can get a view of it from another spot here because I think I can see it. All right, so there's the last nut and stud. It's gonna be kind of hard to get to and the hardest one to see, but it's there. We'll get it. All right, so it didn't take long actually to get that uh, hidden nut out. I just reached with the 3.8 socket with a 3.8, three inch extension. I'll show you here, this guy. And I was able to reach around with one hand behind it, holding the socket and break the nut pretty easily and using my right hand to reach around the right side of the spring there and kind of hold it steady. It came right off. All right, well, it turns out I was wrong. There's one more. Uh, it's up on the top of the manifold. You can see just the bottom of the stud there. So that one's really hard to see. So it'll be interesting to get that one off and I'll let you know how I did it. All right, well, I finally got that off. It was a pain hard to see. Um, I would do that one first next time because the weight of the manifold is on it so I had to pry it up. All right as you can see I pulled it out on that last nut. I just used my little 12 millimeter socket. Uh, it barely fit. I would recommend either a half size deep socket or a small very small extension on there like maybe an inch. Uh, that would make it a lot easier to get out. Uh, the other thing is in order to pull the manifold out, you're going to want to do yourself a favor and go ahead and loosen the bracket for this wheel speed sensor. Get it out of the way because the manifold will get hung up on it. You can see I've got my oxygen sensors in there. I took them off the cat back so that I didn't damage them. And... Um, you're gonna go ahead and flip this over so you can see why I took it out. The manifold itself is not too bad. The problem is it's leaking right there from the secondary air injection system port. You can see all the soot on there. Uh, it really sucks having to take this whole thing out just because of that. Uh, here's all the tools I used. You don't need the big air ratchet. I've got that smaller one I found that 
I forgot I had. Um, and that was really helpful to get the cat back off of the manifold. So yeah, not too bad. It took me three and a half hours to get that out of there. Definitely want to get yourself a creeper. That'll make this job a lot easier because you're going to be in and out from under the truck. I left the front wheel on. You could take it off if you want, but I was leaning on it quite a bit, so that was actually helpful. Um, other than that, I'm going to wait for my new manifold to get here, and we'll put it back together. And once again, it's a 5.7 liter Tundra V8. All right, it's a couple days later. I spent a few minutes cleaning the block off. So that the ports are nice and clean for the new gasket. Here's the new gasket. getting dark outside it's cold got the manifold in got all the bolts tightened up torque spec is I think it said 15 foot pounds on the manifold nuts and then seven foot pounds on the part for the air injection system. Well, that's all the video I have for this project. Check out the link in the description for a video comparing this manifold to the original. It also shows why I had trouble putting the exhaust pipe back on this manifold. Thanks for watching.